Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today I've got three storage items to go through with you. Uh, and these are things for putting your uh, drills, your gems, your diamonds into for uh, doing your diamond painting kits. Or if you prefer for storing uh, your diamonds and gems in afterwards. So I've got three items. Um, they're pretty self-explanatory when you see them. Um, they came in a big box and a little box. So I've got one case, two cases, oops, if I get these in view, and a little teeny tiny three cases. Okay, and more cardboard boxes for the recycling bin. So again, I've been uh, using coupons. All of these came from Amazon. They are all still available on Amazon, um, but not necessarily for the prices that I've paid. Um, again, I have used the Vipon app, V-I-P-O-N. I'm not affiliated with them. I don't make any money from um, promoting them or mentioning them, but I do think it is a good way of getting some um, good bargains if you do look out for that app. Sometimes they're available, sometimes they're not. You've got to be lucky to get them. And I have been lucky and managed to get three lots of uh, diamond painting goodies. So let's start. Ooh, which one shall we start with? We'll start with this one because I've not uh, had one of these type before. Um, I have had the other two, but we need to have a look at the quality and everything of them. So let's just pop these out of the way. And this one is Just Do Life Diamond Painting and it's a box of 64 grid ninny and I believe these are like the Tic Tac boxes. It would normally have been 15 95 and I got it for £7.17. So let's get into this and have a look. Uh, nice if you're doing a bigger painting. It has a very small footprint. So for, sorry, that's the chair creaking, not me. Um, yeah, 64 grids. So it's a nice plastic uh, container. It does feel a little bit flimsy, um, but it is quite soft, malleable. So it's not real rigid. So if you dropped that, um, you know, it, it's not one of those really hard plastics that's going to crack. But I think you would have to be careful with your hinges possibly. Um, because you know eventually they are going to wear but if you're careful and look after it it's fine Um we've got some stickers looks like we've got 64 stickers there one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight uh, eight eight sixty four so that's your stickers and then we've got all these little containers and they are quite small well, they are right small aren't they little tic tac boxes okay and they're all neatly, well, not very neatly arranged because they're all going separate ways. Um, I think you can see that's just going to set my OCD off, I think. <laughs> and they're all different ways round. But I'm going to try not to put them all in the right order at the moment. So you've got your little uh, Tic Tac boxes, as they're called. They're, they're not as big as a Tic Tac container. <laughs> if I only got Tic Tacs in that, there wouldn't be many mints in there, would there? Uh, but yeah, they're the hard plastic, so they possibly will drop, uh, crack if you do drop them. Um, <laughs> it's bouncing it off the table. Fortunately, it landed on my lap, so it didn't break. Uh, these little hinges are quite a soft plastic, so I would be careful with those. I think given time, they may wear. Um, but yeah, you know, for the price that I've paid... Um, for the price they are, they'll do the job, they're fine. Um, I mean, even if that did break off, it's a good snap on there. So you're still going to have uh, your lids shut there. You can take that off so that you can fill your pots up and then pop it back on for when you're using your diamonds and then just flip the lid up to tip some into your tray. I'm not sure how many of these hold. Okay, I'm back. I've just got some of the little 200 packets of diamonds. Um, I have <laughs> played this game before, look, with some of the storage. So I've got that there and we'll just try with these 3865s and just see how many packets we can actually fit 
into these little containers. So I've not used these myself before. Uh, some people swear by them and think they're marvellous. Um, so I'll give them a go. I'll give anything a try. Um, I'm always up for learning something new. So that's 200. Let's get the next 200 in there. It's always nice to have a gauge of how many will fit in. That's another 200. So they are actually holding more than I expected. They're obviously deceptive and bigger than they look. And that's another 200. So that's 600 altogether so far. We'll get another one in. Okay. And that's... Yeah, that's another 200. Now then, when you put these on... I think we'll maybe get another 200 in there so that will make a thousand uh, they are obviously only rough these calculations because you know i'm only told that there's 200s in these little packets uh, there might be a little bit more there might be a little bit less uh, so but i am not going to sit and count them all so we'll get that in i would think that you've got to be careful and not overfill them because this plastic lid does go down quite a way and yeah yeah so it certainly won't get any more in there now so roughly a thousand then so that's pretty good i say that they do hold more than i expected um yeah okay so that's your little tic tac boxes and um, say so there's 84 there and that is a very very small footprint for 60 84 64 colors get it right liz okay let's just give this a measure Right, before I start, uh, move. I'm just going to put these drills back in here and put these away and back into the kit they belong to so that I don't lose them. Uh, oh, they do tip out quite nicely, albeit that one has got stuck. Uh, that's just is that a bit of static, I think, that's got that one. And there he goes. That's fine. So, yeah, they pour nicely out the spouts as well. So, that's good. Okay. We just slot back in i would have to have them all in the right order facing the right ways i can't be doing with that that will drive me mad uh, it's got a nice clip down handle there if you can see Oops, it doesn't do it very well while it's up in the air but yeah it will clip there and unclip so it's quite safe I don't think that's going to spring open if you drop it on the floor. Can you tell I keep saying drop it on the floor? What makes you think that I tend to drop a lot of things? <laughs> I have to keep testing all these things. Let me just pop these diamonds away so that I don't lose them. Keep them in the right kit. Otherwise, I'll get onto this painting and I'll be thinking, where's all my gems gone? What have I done with them? Put that back over there. Okay. So we were going to measure, weren't we? Oh, got a bit there, look. Get rid of that. But yeah, for 64 colours, so that's 6,400 gems. Yeah, 64 times 100, yeah. Um, that is, you know, as I say, a very small footprint. It's not going to take up much room on your desk or your workstation or your knee or wherever you're working. So it's 22, just just slightly over 22 centimetres that way, which is eight and three quarter inches by uh, 13, just under 13 centimetres, which is five inches that way. And you do have your nice little carry handle on it as well. So uh, I would say that's uh, quite good. So I'll have to use it to check. Uh, it's got little stud feet on the bottom. So I would maybe put um, some little stoppers on there, some little rubber stoppers if you've got them, uh, or even blue tack, just to keep it fastened down while you're working on it so it doesn't move around your workstation quite so much. But yeah, that's uh, quite a nice little case there. Okay, so let's have a look at the next one, which is the 30 bottle case and i have got quite a few of these um, i do use these a lot i do tend to find that because i only do smaller paintings um, the 35 40 foot 
got to buy 50 paint tins I can usually use a 30 bottle um, so these do tend to be my favourites okay so we've got your six by five which is 30 of your little containers and um, we have measured these before there's about 14 to 1600 drills that you can get in these so you can get more in uh, than you can get in the little tic tac containers i've just shown you they're a hard plastic so again be careful dropping them uh, on hard surfaces they are likely to crack these have got the softer plastic lids so that's good because that means sometimes if you've got the harder plastic lid with the hard plastic container you can over tighten them and it can crack the lid but obviously that will happen with these because they uh, are the softer lid which is good and they all fit nice and snugly into your bit of foam that you've got in your case you can take that out if you want to um, and you know put it on your desk but I have to keep mine contained in my little case so that they're all nice and sectioned there. Uh, looks like we've got some labels with this as well. Yeah. Oh, plenty of labels there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. By one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fourteen eights. Well, ten eights are eighty. So that's eighty-eight. 96, 104, 112 is that? Don't shoot me if I'm wrong. <laughs> and again, you've got your little net at the top. What I tend to do is say I've got 31 or 32 colours um, and I've not got one of my other bigger kits available. Then I'll put the last two colours in bags and put them in my little net uh, piece at the top. But you can put your little kit uh, drill trays in there your details of your diamond painting and everything so yeah i do like these containers but as i say that one was a really good price instead of 13 pound 99 for this which i think is still a good price uh, i only paid five pound 60 so that was a really good price for that and it would have been rude not to buy it at that price so that's and again it's purple which all of my other storage uh, is purple Okay, and then finally the last one, which is Big Brother. This one is the 60 bottle storage. Uh, it did only come in blue, but uh, again, I did get it for a bargain price. And it would normally be £19.99, which I have paid £25 in the past for these. So that was still a good price, but I've only paid £8 for this. So, Wow. Um, and this one is the Mac Ting store, which I've had, uh, sorry, this one and the other little case are the Mac Ting store. And I have had storage from them in the past and they have been very good quality. Let me get rid of that horrible crinkly plastic. Just put it in the bin underneath my desk and now it's just going to gradually slide its way out and crinkle all the way out. Um, they're a lovely storage container, these. Nice handle there for carrying same as the smaller one okay. um, i do see a lot of these around but i say these are really my favorite oh wow this one's cut oh my goodness this one's come with a load of goodies with it as well wow okay wasn't expecting that goodness right so we've got uh, 60 of your little hard plastic bottles again the same as the 30 so you can mix and match these if you want to you know if you, you've got them taken out uh, for another project you can put them back in they're all a pretty standard size um, again your little plastic lids there so uh, a bit bigger net for keeping all your bits and pieces but let's have a look at all these bits and pieces that we've got I didn't realize it came with all this as well Goodness me. Oh, we've got a oh, two sticky mats. Oh, wow. Oh, these are brilliant. Um, I do use these quite a lot. Hubby's pinched a couple of mine because uh, he tends to find that his grabber and his uh, stick um, slide off, the handle slides off the table. So he sticks one of these to the table and then sticks the grabber uh, like handle to it so that it doesn't slide about so it's still there when he uses it. But they're actually really good for putting your tray on and then it doesn't come off. 
if you can see um, so if you're working on an angle or even if you're like me and uh, yeah you're a spiller then I do use these quite a bit so I've got two of those goodness I think these are usually about three pound each wow a green one and a black one okay uh, I've actually got one of these in my car as well I put my mobile phone on it on my dashboard <laughs> <laughs> these are really handy not just for diamond painting um a huge amount of grip seal bags heck i reckon there's probably about 50 in there do you think wow that's good um a brush so for using with your sealer or for just picking up your diamonds when you've dropped them <laughs> um we've got a straightener which, yeah, I use one of these straighteners. That's a good one. Nice slim edge there for just butting up your drills and straightening them. Got the funnel, which this is a round funnel. Okay, you can use this for popping your drills into your little pots. Uh, what I tend to do with these, with them being uh, rubber plastic, I just use a tumble dryer sheet. I wipe it inside with a tumble dryer sheet before I use it and it just stops any static building up but then it just folds back down to go into your case lid wow <laughs> I just can't believe there's all this stuff in this and um, what have we got here oh, okay. this really is a comprehensive let's get started like toolkit so not only do you get your case and your bottles you get all your stuff to be able to do your diamond painting as well okay so we've got Three pink pens uh, with your single places. We've got a three place. Uh, uh, oh, where's my little card? Not used this for a while, have I? Uh, a six placer and a nine placer. So we've got a three, a six, and a nine, and they've got the like red grips on them. So they're not quite as wide as like the little cushiony. Uh, like good blue grips that you get but these are a little bit flatter but if it's particularly hot or humid where you are then you sometimes find that you'll slip with the pen with it being plastic if your hands get warm whereas with this rubber bit there they're not going to so yeah they're good and um, your standard little curved tweezers and um, they're okay they're, they're not something that I particularly use but they're great for getting you started and if you've not got your tweezers you can always use a pair of tweezers for something. Uh, you're mm, that sort of like in between red and pink. I don't think it's quite solid red, but yeah, there's two, four, six, eight, ten pieces of wax there. Wow. And oh, two boats. Goodness me. So we've got, oh, look, that's quite a sparkly. Put a colour underneath it so you can see it. Can you see it's got like a sparkle to it? wow okay and it's got a spout in it i've not seen one of those before that's quite a softish plastic as well Ooh, that's nice like that one okay and then we've got a big white boat and it's got a pen holder on the edge and i've not seen one of these before either so you can put your pen there heck wow okay and then last but not least a great big pack of uh, stickers one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen i'm not doing the maths again <laughs> okay so wow look at all that stuff that we've got with that and as you can see this is just shows you how much you can get in uh, your lid so when you're diamond painting you've got plenty of space to put all your bits and pieces in it would make a wonderful present for somebody that's just starting out this. That basically is all the tools that you need to get you going and more. Wow, okay. So that will just close up a good strong zip. Okay, so we've got our 60 case and our 30 case and that literally is half the size as you can see there so you would get two of those for that one what's that what's that got oh i see ah right ah now then so this little 30 one rather than having 
your handle as that one has it just has a cloth handle okay but that's fair enough um yeah that's okay that does the job that's fine if you're wanting to carry it about to be honest i very rarely carry mine about um and with covid i've not been anywhere anyway <laughs> okay and then finally your little 64 so if you think it will depend on your space if you've got enough room for a 60 case that you know can store all that and have all your equipment and everything in it as well um, and the bigger bottles then you can use that one or you can use a smaller one if you've not got as much space uh, which is that size let's just get you centered on that look so you can see there how big that one is so and that's a 64 so that holds more than well it holds more colors but not as ma many gems oh you've got your little 30 so we've just done a little look at some storage cases there you've got a 60 and a 30 from mac Tink store and a 64 from just do life okay which ones do you like to use? Let me know in the comments down below uh, which ones you prefer. And if you've used the Tic Tac boxes, I say I've not used them. I will be giving them a go. I'll be doing a kitten up with them. Uh, but that's me done for now. If you've enjoyed looking at these with me, give me a like. Uh, it just helps me out with YouTube. And if you want to see my next videos when they're posted, if you press the subscribe button, you'll be notified when the next pop along. So thanks for stopping by and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.